for my first attempt, I'm okay with that. You know, it's not the prettiest, it's not the most even pieces, but uh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking that up. Hey everyone, Levon here with Virtual Table, and today we are going to be making some hand-pulled noodles. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead now and add in our salt into that flour. And I did mention that we are going to boil some water, but all we're really doing is just heating up that water to about uh, 50 to 55 degrees Celsius. A lot of folks will say that it really depends on the percentage of the protein that's in the flour that yields a really good hand-pulled noodle. Uh, in this particular recipe, we are using about 11 to 12 percent. Um, some people will even say to go as high as 15 percent, such as uh, the protein that you would find in a bread flour. But we're just using all-purpose flour here uh, for these hand-pulled noodles, and we're going to see uh, how they come out. Okay. So that dough is looking nice and formed. I'm just going to go ahead and let this sit. I'm going to keep this covered, uh, and I'm going to let that sit there for about 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead now and roll this out just a little bit more here and really just try to uh, stretch it as much as I can, really pulling it, okay? And so now I'm gonna bring these together. And the goal is to just constantly double it each time I fold it in half. Um, I can see that it is beginning to look still a little tight here, but we're gonna keep on trying <laughs> and see if this works. And I'm putting a little bit of flour here on the surface just so that the uh, noodles aren't stuck together or they don't stick together as I'm um, beginning to double them each time. So it's tight here. Um, I think I might be able to get some length on here as I keep on pulling. But it's not really, you know, it's not easy. And you can see I kind of already broke it here. But it's not really... Uh, stretching as long as I want it to be, and I think it might still be a little tight. I see why now it takes uh, years to master this for uh, a lot of the uh, Chinese chefs. Oh, and I broke one. All right, well, we'll just keep on going. <laughs> All right, so let's see how this is. So. Ah! Spin it around. <laughs> there you go. And it's getting shorter each time, so. I feel like this is still too tight and just ripped. <laughs> All right, this is not gonna work. Next. Okay, so after a few attempts with our all-purpose flour, it didn't quite come out the way that I wanted it to, and I didn't try it uh, with bread flour. And so today, or right now, we have some bread flour. This recipe is being adapted from the Serious Eats uh, recipe that you can find on hand-pulled noodles. I was a little bit opposed to starting or trying out this recipe because nutritional yeast can sometimes take on a cheesy type of flavor. And I didn't really know how, how I would feel about that in this dough. But you know, we're gonna give it a try and see how it is. Um, I do love the way that the nutritional yeast will give it some color. So it kind of looks like the traditional egg noodles that you're used to. The glutathione and the nutritional yeast will kind of help um, aid that dough in making it nice and uh, stretchy. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, give it a try. In that bowl of bread flour, I'm gonna go ahead and add in that nutritional yeast, add in that salt, and then I'm going to add in that water. Okay, I'm gonna add in now that oil, and that oil is supposed to also help out with that texture here. Okay, so that's nice and soft. And I guess the whole idea too with the bread flour is that because it does have higher, higher gluten content, it will probably make the, uh, the noodles nice and chewy. Wow, I can already see that this dough is nice and soft and it is definitely a little bit more sticky, but we're just gonna keep on working with it here. And I love the way that it looks. It's nice and yellow, almost looks like we added an egg in there. 
Okay, so as I'm kneading here, what's happening is that the matrix of glutens is really beginning to uh, get created and really kind of form at this point. So really just trying to make sure that, you know, we kind of get that going so that by the time we're ready to start pulling, um, that network of gluten is already formed. I can begin to feel that dough getting a little bit tighter, which is what we want here. What's really nice about this dough is that it's really, really soft right from the beginning. So right off the bat, it's really nice and supple. Oh, baby, let's go. Dude, this is so hard. Oh my gosh. They make it look so easy. Yeah, yeah, if we all wanna cook this, I wanna eat it already, man. It's so frustrating, dude. Wow. It's not letting me pull it as much as I want it to, man. Oh my God, that was so promising. Dude, you know what? Even if it's just like this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so not the prettiest, but we do have some noodles here. And you know, I'm for my first attempt, I'm okay with that. You know, it's not the prettiest, it's not the most even pieces, but uh, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking that up. So I got a few noodles here that I'm just gonna use or put over to the side and then I'm gonna uh, go ahead and boil them. I'm gonna do a few more of these so that I have a, you know, a decent amount. All right, we got some nudes here. This might be as good as it gets. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right there and add that to my pile. So to flavor up those noodles that we're gonna be testing, I am going to make a really quick and simple sauce using garlic chives, some shallot, and this Filipino condiment called tabat nang langka. So all that is, is crab fat. Uh, all those together, you know, really quickly sauteed, is gonna be really delicious when I toss those noodles um, into that sauce. Last hour crab fat. And I personally like a little bit of heat, so I'm gonna add in just a little bit of chili flakes in there. And that is it. So once we are done with cooking our noodles, 
some of that water is gonna help kind of deglaze this wok a little bit and really kind of make it a little bit more saucy. So even if there's a little bit stuck on that wok, that's totally fine. <laughs> Some funny soup. <laughs> Top it off just a little bit of some chili crunch for extra texture and flavor. All right, let's go ahead and taste this. It's pretty good. <coughs> Noodles are a lot thicker than I wanted them to be, but not bad for our first try. The noodles actually don't taste as yeasty as I thought they would from that nutritional yeast. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell to stay tuned for next week's video where Chef Teresa will be making vanilla bean ice cream all from scratch. See you all in the next one.